Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and oil the cluster gears. Get everything nice and well lubricated. Okay, I've pre-assembled the uh, cluster gear shift fork, handle, and the cover. And go ahead and put that in place. This is the feed trip plunger. Once again, making sure everything is well lubricated and go ahead and put that in place. And now we're going to go ahead and put together the overload clutch assembly. You can see that the overload clutch trip lever has already been uh, installed inside the cover. And it's just a matter of lining it up on the pins and then installing the, uh, the hold down screws. Uh, that moves pretty good. Okay, this is the feed trip bracket and assembly. I've already pre-assembled this um, ahead of time and uh, it's ready to go. right down in place. Had to move it there to make sure I lined up properly with the, uh, the trip arm. And everything looks good. Wipe it off and Move on to the next part. Okay, got everything put together here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, give that feed uh, a good turn here. Make sure that's shifting properly.
everything looks pretty good. This is the quill skirt, and this thing is is uh, very very sharp. <laughs> I, uh, I was fortunate I did get cut on it, but um, yeah, it's it's something to be careful with uh, when you're when you're maneuvering it. So I've got to pinch it together here, and then it just slides into the housing slides up and then there is um, there's kind of a, like a relief inside there that it will it'll drop inside and then um, it'll slide up and down with the quill inside that relief and there it is it's just uh, snaps in place and uh, really nothing much to it At this point, I'm pondering, thinking, wow, that was a lot easier than I thought it would be. Okay, here is the quill. Um, I'll make sure we clean it up really nice. And then, uh, get ready to put it in place. Make sure you do it right. So this is the make or break. I can't get my hands on it. Okay, we're just died. Isn't that, isn't that lovely? All right, moving on from my camera issues here. 
the uh, the quill it, it did not come out of the uh, the housing very easily the first time when I took it apart and so I expected it to be a little bit tight putting it back in um, and it was it was it was pretty tight and but uh, of course everything is looks looks very nice it's in good, in good condition just a little bit tight so I got it in uh, got it in a little ways there and then I realized that I was uh, it was crooked so um, didn't really have a way to turn it uh, then I got thinking well I'll just use a strap wrench and uh, did exactly what I wanted it to it turned it very nicely and didn't damage anything so that's a definite plus At this point, I've got the quill down um, all the way to the uh, to the gear, and um, going ahead and put the, uh, the handle on, and uh, see if I can go ahead and crank it down the rest of the way. That part didn't want to go on very well. A little bit of pressure. You can engage. Uh, not want to turn, and in the moment here, it'll dawn on me the reason why. Yeah, it helps if you disengage it. There it goes. A little difficult fighting against all the gears trying to get it to go down. Kind of looks like I was pushing on it real hard there, but I actually wasn't. It, it's going down very nicely. Once you get past that initial, um, you know, getting it uh, in place, uh, it, it went very nice. Clean up all the excess oil, and um, there it is. Doesn't get much better than that. Okay, so sitting on top of the quill and the quill skirt, um, there are two screws that hold the quill skirt from coming out the top when you raise the quill. And attached to one of those screws is a felt washer. And that helps to distribute the oil over the quill and the spindle. So I'm just gonna go ahead and preload that washer with plenty of oil. And in a moment, I'm going to go ahead and, um, and put it in place.